Second point, our legitimacy is reduced when we've got a Guantanamo that is open, when we suspend habeas corpus. Those kinds of things erode our moral claims uh, that we are acting uh, on behalf of broader universal principles, and that's one of the reasons why those kinds of issues are so important. We're going to lead by shutting down Guantanamo and restoring habeas corpus in this country so that we offer them an example. Uh, I think that uh, folks made a terrific point that we have to stand for human rights, and that should be part of the trade equation. It is harder for us to do it when we have situations like Guantanamo, where we've uh, suspended habeas corpus. To the extent that we are not being true to our values and our ideals, that sends a negative message to the world and it gives us less leverage then when we want to deal with countries that are abusing human rights. So I think it's, it's part and parcel with a larger program of us restoring the traditions that made this country great and made us admired around the world. There are a number of different things that you could do early pertaining to executive orders. Right. Uh, one of them is to shut down Guantanamo Bay. Mm -hmm. Another is to uh, change uh, interrogation methods that are used by U.S. troops. Are those things that you plan to take early action on? Yes. Uh, I have said repeatedly that I intend to close Guantanamo and I will follow through on that. Uh, I've said repeatedly that America doesn't torture and I'm going to make sure that we don't torture. Uh, those, are, uh, those are part and parcel of an, an effort to regain uh, America's moral stature in the world. This first executive order that we are signing uh, by the authority vested in me as president, the con uh, president by the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America in order to affect the appropriate disposition of individuals currently detained by the Department of Defense at Guantanamo uh, and promptly to close the detention facility at Guantanamo consistent with the national security and foreign policy interests of the United States and the interests of justice, I hereby order. And we then provide uh, the process whereby Guantanamo will be closed uh, no later than one year from now. We will be, uh, is there a separate uh, Executive order, Greg, with respect to how we're going to dispose of the detainees, is that it, uh, written? We'll set up a process. We will be setting up a process uh, whereby this is going to be taking place. Uh, the j individuals who are standing behind me uh, represent uh, flag officers who came to both Joe and myself uh, and all the candidates uh, and made a passionate plea that we restore uh, the standards of due process and the, the core constitutional values that have made this country great, uh, even in the midst of war, even in dealing with terrorism. They've made an extraordinary impression on me. Uh, they are outstanding Americans who have fought uh, and defended this country. And for them to fight on behalf of our constitutional ideals and values, I think, is exceptional, so I wanted to make sure that they were here to witness the signing of this executive order. There we go. So how many of you remember Obama saying such words as, I will close Guantanamo within a year? <laughs> well, it's still open, and I don't see any signs of it closing anytime soon check out this article uh, obviously it's on Russia today um, UK security firm snatches up 70 million pound contract to supply Gitmo okay <laughs> UK security company G4S has been awarded a new contract to supply materials and services to Guantanamo Bay we all know what that is okay so why would they be giving that much money to a security firm to help Guantanamo if it was going to be closing? Folks, it's not closing. Most of you already know this, but Obama, any of these presidents, all these, most, of, I would say most, maybe not all, but at least most of these politicians are not out for any of our interests. I mean, this should be, this should be just more proof. You know, so I just wanted to share this. Just catching Obama and his lies is just, I mean, we need to be doing it. 
who knows, maybe we can wake more people up by doing stuff like this. So I just wanted to show y'all this article. I'll leave a link for this so you can read the whole thing. But yeah, Guantanamo is going to remain open indefinitely, obviously, after after reading this. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.